spot to film this because it's super sunny. Good start. Uh, feels super weird talking to a camera and there's no one here but uh, I thought as I got a new float as you can see in the background I thought I would start a YouTube channel. Bit of a weird thought process but yes anyway uh, I'll get straight into the video by just showing you around the float. So I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but if you do, you'd know that I'm sponsored by a company in Victoria called Campbell Floats. And they are actually who we got this Equitrek from. So not only do they sell Campbell Floats over there, they import the Equitreks and distribute them around Australia. So <laughs> once uh, we sold our Barrington, which I loved, but wasn't suitable anymore. Uh, my parents went over to Victoria and they looked at these Equitrex and we fell in love with them because they are, they are really, really amazing. Um, and so that's why we have it. So I'll show you around. So I guess I'll start with showing you like an, over, an overview, <laughs> an overview of the float. Um, I start from the front. So this is the Star Trekker. It is absolutely humongous. Um, <laughs> it's we we had the Barrington before, which was a really really big float, but this just trumps that. It's so tall and so wide; it looks like a caravan. Um, <laughs> so let's start from here. So there's this little um, I don't know cabinet at the front. It's where the gas canister is and power, and it's just good for keeping like hay and rugs and dirty um dirty things that you don't want to get the rest of the float filthy with so that's all separate at the front there and then we have the power power hookup um so that's like the fridge and the lights and stuff when we're at home we can plug it in instead of using the battery in the float and then we'll move before we go to the inside i'll show you these lockers so they're just push lockers like this and in here it's just basically a storage you've got horse wash there the spare tire i have a couple buckets um restore be quiet that's just good stuff for traveling and um dustpan and broom i haven't actually put uh, a lot like anything in here yet because we've only had it for a few days so yeah liquids like that all these little lockers have got lights in them too so so you come around to the back and there's the back entrance door and you've got this little um, step so that pulls out there and it's very dirty because it's obviously come back from a very long trip. Um, and this is the inside but I'll show you from a better angle once we finish the outside. So I'll shut that. So you get to this side and this is the tack locker. So in here there's uh, two bridle hooks, two saddle hooks and then light. So that's good. Yeah. They all close really simple with just a little push, push button. You've got the water tank and then if we move along I'll show you the inside. inside. has another one of those like pull out step things. And then if we go in here, um, right feet. there's a fridge right there, go up the step. So, it's really cool. <laughs> We've got microwave and two cabinets here. And these are all like gloss coated, so they look really pretty. And we've got a sink that because we've got an independent water tank in here so we'll have our own have our own water and plug socket and it just pushes down like that to get out of the way and then our gas stove another storage and of course 
three little portholes for one. <laughs> and then in here, we actually have a shower. So yeah, there's a shower there and you get a shower curtain and there's a there's a light, a light in there. And that all just drains out onto the uh, onto the floor when you're camping. And these are the beds, so it's kind of difficult. I probably can't set it up by myself. But um, basically this comes up and there's two like pretty wide bunk beds down here. So yeah, that's the inside and I'll show you the horse. And there's also this table here. So it just comes up like that and then this comes up and you pull it down. So yeah. Kind of difficult <laughs> to put microfiber cloths <laughs> but yeah this is kind of like an overview of the inside okay so time to get the massive massive ramp down I don't know if I can do it with one hand, I can do it with one hand. but basically these bits are on here like that and this little piece here then folds down like that so that's what keeps these in but to um to open it you basically push in here and then you can do that little this little bit and then pull it out so that opens just like that and i just did that one like that and you make sure they're fully turned out and then you just basically pull this pull this handle and step back and the ramp will just go down by itself and it will just stop so you just continue to push it and it won't ever like bash the ground because it is such a huge ramp you, um, it's got really good hydraulics so it does go nice and slow so it's safe for one person to open it and then next we do this this is basically just so that the horses don't uh, come off the side of the ramp. So we attach these bits, which were originally the outside bits, onto there, like so. Move that across. And that basically just locks that in place then, like that. And then this door. pin up, pull this out, lock that in place and then that is like an overview of the horse area. So I always travel with sawdust just because I think it's safer and it protects the float and um, stops them from slipping, makes them more sure footed and absorbs everything. So next I'll just um, Take that pin out like that and pull this out. There's the divider open and there's a little hook here and that comes down and that just stops the, uh, so if you're parked on a bit of a hill or something and you want to get them off, stops the divider from opening. So this is fully adjustable so like you could literally travel them in an angle if you wanted to um, and they travel backwards backwards straight so <laughs> here's the um chest bar and there's holes as you can see all the way down so if you have a, re a horse that doesn't like to have panels either side of them or you like a, a horse likes to be really closed in or an angle or anything <laughs> or no divider at all you can uh, you can take it out completely but there's all the holes at the bottom so you can see how adjustable it is so yeah and then these obviously are the two cabinets that I showed you before and there's the door and then there's also if I go under here there's the, the lights which you obviously you can't really see now because it's so bright and the extractor fan. So <laughs> it's a bit noisy, but um, it gets all the hot air out, so it'll be good in uh, good in summer. So 
So yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I don't know if it was if this is even gonna edit very well or if we'll, um, it will be boring or I'm not sure, but there's actually not a lot of videos showing the Star Trekker online, so I thought even if I just post that so that people can see some of the features that it has, then that will be beneficial in some sort of way. So anyway, thanks for watching and I might do another video sometime. Maybe. <laughs> Bye.